All right, what's up, everybody? Now, I noticed that some of you have noticed that I've been playing, or I have played, Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion with a mod called Sins of a Galactic Empire. So what we will do right now, or what I will do, is show you how to install the mod. Now, let's close OBS. Wait a minute. Perfect. There we go. Now, first step, open up your Steam application. Go to Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. Click play. Now wait for it to load up. go to options and mods now go to show mod path click on that you'll see this go back and quit so what you just did is you just created a folder or a path to which your mods may be applied so that you can successfully mod the game. So now you minimize Steam, you open up your internet browser, whatever that may be, you go to moddb.com, moddb.com slash. Now you will see this. Now go to Mods, click on Game, go to Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion, should be right there. Click on Search, type in Star Wars just to make it a little easier. Now all of this will pop up, so you go down to Sins of a Galactic Empire here. Go to Files, and this mod is pretty amazing, guys, so you should definitely check it out. Go to Sins of the Galactic Empire 4.11.1. Click on that. See Download Now. Click on that. After you have downloaded it, it should look a lot like this actually let's leave your file explorer open for now just minimize that now what you will need to do <coughs> excuse me you will need to extract the files to your desktop well I, I recommend you do so to your desktop just because it's easier to you know see exactly what files are in there and then create a folder for them so just extract here, and it'll extract, 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 vanilla extract, alloy extract, more extracting. Mm -hmm. Hope that you guys' New Year's and Christmas went pretty well, by the way. Still going, still going. Still good. It might take a little while, uh, depending on your PC. Um, this mod is pretty large, so I do recommend freeing up some space before you do apply it to your game. And there you have it. So now, what do we want? What do we want to do? First, before you do anything with them, I recommend you create a game mods or mods folder. Just one on your desktop to keep track of your mods. These are my mods, for example. Now you go to Sins of a Solar Empire Mods in case you have created that folder and you take out your SOGE folder. Minimize that. We'll leave that open for now. Now you're going to put your WinRAR or whatever 
archived files and everything else associated with Sins of a Galactic Empire into your Sins of a Galactic Empire folder that you have created on your desktop. This just helps to keep everything organized and so that you know exactly where it is. What you want to do next is quite simple. Easiest thing to do. And this actually goes for a lot of mods that do um, or can be applied to Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. So you're going to click on Enabled Mods. You're going to highlight everything up to Sins of a Galactic Empire 4.11.1. What you will now do is you will reopen your File Explorer like that. Oop, there you go. Go to Documents, go to My Games, go to Ironclad Games, go to Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. What you will see is you will see Mods Rebellion V 1.85. Click on that, or double click rather. Now you're going to move everything from enabled mods up to SOGE 4.11.1 you're going to move all of that into your mod folder bing replace the file in the destination yes because that, that enabled mods file right here is going to register that mod or rather apply that mod into the game so now what you will do is you'll say hmm well what is all this well all of these are add-ons to the mod except for this this is the galaxy forge kind of like an editor or a map editor what you want to do now is apply at least two add-ons that I highly recommend for this game or this mod rather so double click enabled mods now this is how you install an add-on super easy what you need to do is simply highlight enabled mod name and whatever is in quotations copy now you want to paste that like so now whenever you have two two of these lines here in enable mods you always want to put the variable associated with those two meaning two enable mod count or mod name count two which registers that you have a mod and an add-on to the mod applied which will then show up in game so what you would want is extremely reduced weapon ranges this kind of makes all the ships in the mod in game attack each other much uh, at much closer ranges than usual makes for a lot of Star Warsy broadside kind of stuff so you're gonna paste after copying the name of that folder into here, click File, don't forget to save. All right, that's pretty much all you got to do. Super easy, super easy. Now you're going to click out of that, you're going to go ahead and exit, exit again. Now there will be installation instructions that do come with this mod um, do read them please before you do anything else uh, if you do still have trouble however feel free to message me anytime I will now open up sins of a galactic empire all right now let's click play and if you see this screen you've done everything right and 
Here we go. I do apologize, by the way, if it's quite dark. Um, the light in my room is out. And it's nighttime. There you have it. Let's turn this music down. It's a bit loud. So that is how you install Sins of a Galactic Empire. Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. Super easy. Now, if, again, if you guys do have any questions, feel free to message me uh, on YouTube itself uh, via the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe. And it's good to be back. Peace. Or rather, aloha.